Well, I spoke too soon. Was it yesterday? When I posted the picture of the little baby owl and I said, oh, I love raising the babies, but we've been able to re-nest everybody so far. Well, now I've got two screech owls. Um, and they're both doing well. Shout out to uh, Ren and Liz and um, Michelle for providing transport from uh, Chesity Wildlife Preserve or whatever that's called up there. And so on the way down, the um, Michelle had noted that one of the babies had regurgitated the pellet. And this is why I don't feed um, the birds before I travel with them because they have a tendency to just throw up whatever's on their guts. And this is just like a pile of, oh, look at that little yawn. It's like a pile of putties. You can't really tell a whole lot. But anyway, there's two of them there. Um, but I wanted to show you this hairball that's not in focus I guess maybe oh here we go and there's um like a bug carcass let me see if I can put a see the see the exoskeleton of the the bug not that cool Let me see if I can rotate him. Eek! That is so cool. And it almost looks like bird seed. Because, you know, the, um, when they cast up the pellet, um, it, like if they if they're fed a bird and the bird has gone to the feeder to eat seed, they the raptor can assimilate that. They don't have a grinding gizzard, you know, like other bird critters do, like turkeys and stuff like that. <clears throat> so it just comes up in the casting. Isn't that cool? I love seeing these wild castings. I have people wanting me to give them my castings, and I'm like, you know, mine are boring, you know, because they're mice and baby chicks and. Stuff quail and stuff like that. So it's always cool to find the wild uh, castings because you've got all this other neat stuff in it. Alright, that's it from Hawk Talk Headquarters.